What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam, two times back with your boys, but another bang video consistent two thousand in the building. Clap it, clap it, clap it up. Feel me today? We got Jalen Hurts press conference after getting we well, signing it today, but he sent on his contract extension today. And he's now doing his uh his press for bro. So we gonna get straight into it. All press goes up to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We gonna get straight in. Um, good, good afternoon, good morning. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank God for everything. That's what I'm talking about. His grace, His, his faithfulness, His favor in my life. He is deserve, deserving of every ounce of glory. I want to thank the Eagles organization um, and really thank them for this opportunity, not only to lead this team, but to lead this city. And Philadelphia is a very special place and a place that I want to be for a very long time. I want to thank Mr. Lurie, Howie, and Julian. Uh, three, years, three years ago today, shocking the world and taking the kid from Oklahoma. I know a lot of people didn't understand at the Daniel, time, but to go today. it happens. Um, my coaches, Brian, Alex, Tanny, uh, Coach Nick Sirianni, Coach Shane Steichen, my teammates uh, for the support, the commitment, and what we do every day, the grind we put in every day, um, the belief, not only in my, myself, not only in me, but um, in themselves. We dedicate so much to this and, you know, we all invest so much into just trying to be the best that we can be at this craft, in this craft. Um, so I want to thank everybody for that and thank everybody for buying into the culture that we've set here. Um, and the enthusiasm we have here right now. Um, I want to thank my family, my mother for always supporting me, always loving me, always telling me her opinion, <laughs> and um, always having my back. My brother for, you know, having to know the brother you uh, you have a great example in front of you. And I think for me in my situation, um, he's a guy that I've, I've always looked up to. And I know he enjoys these moments through me um, as we've always dreamed of being the best that we can be at whatever it is that we've, we've aspired to do. And without him, I, I wouldn't be where I am today. I'm just having that example, having that support off oh, rip, you gotta tell Jalen Hayes is a very selfless person. You see all these people he didn't gave credit for and ain't even gave credit to himself yet. Um, I thank him dearly. My little sister uh, was about to graduate high school in a couple weeks, going to prom in a couple weeks too. Um, I thank her for just being her. Uh, Thank her for sacrificing her birthdays to make the trips to, to Alabama and Oklahoma and support me. Um, I thank her for for showing the love that she's shown um, and being who she is uh, to my father. I know I wouldn't be here without him. You know the 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 path that. Just the whole, just the whole thing. Um, being the coach's kid, him being hard on me and pushing me, um, being who he was. I, I'm thankful for the man that I have, and I'm thankful to call him my father uh, and my coach. Um, to Bree, thank you for your support uh, throughout the years. <laughs> I love and appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Um, 
It's electric in here tonight, folks. Thanks that boy looks like he's getting emotional. I'm gonna be like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm saying this is gonna be a long press conference with the Jerry Popcorn. You know, I think about you know, I think about these moments and I think about these times. And he says it's an exciting moment. You know, it's an exciting moment. You know, this this moment right here. Um, but I think I've set the precedent for what it is that I desire. And I, I think for me, um, it's so hard because my mind's everywhere and I just really can't help but keep the main thing the main thing and what um, I set out to do and what this organization has set out to do. And the only thing that I've ever uh, wanted to do is be the best version of myself. And that's, that, that hasn't changed, that won't change. And I am, I am fortunate to have a, a great opportunity, a great opportunity to do um, it in a special place. And in the future, I just strive to continue to grow, strive to continue to lead, strive to continue to be the best version of myself I can be and learn a lot. Championship coming soon, Philadelphia. <laughs> boy, that boy talking. Championship coming soon. He's ready, bro. Can't nobody tell me he's not ready. That boy's ready. On the way. Um, I play this game. I play this game because I love the game. Um, not for any reason. Not for. Not for any other reason than that. I truly love the game, and I hate to lose. And it's being a team sport. You get a certain type of thrill and gratification from doing that with someone else, from putting that work in with someone else, for, from everybody committing to one common goal and trying to achieve that goal in the end. I think that's what's made us so special, and I think that's what's kind of evolved um, in my three years of being here. And I think that's the precedent that we want to set for the future in terms of what we want to achieve. Um, you know, and this isn't a, uh, it, it's not a, it's not a moment where I can reflect because the journey's not over. Um, it's really hard for me to do that, but I know I've walked through the fire time and time again. And in the end, it's always made me stronger. And... The only thing that I've wanted to do, I've just been on this constant quest of trying to be the best player I can be, with no limits. Just trying to be the best version of myself, the best player and leader and man I can be. And that will never change. So I think the hard work, I, the hard work continues and the fire continues to burn. Questions? Jeff, you mentioned, uh, you mentioned that you get to lead not just the franchise, but the city. Getting here three years ago, and the relationship you've built with the city, how much does that mean? Well, it means a lot. It means a lot. It means everything. And I think, um, I think, you know, we three years, three years ago today, you know, Mr. Lurie and Howard had the courage to draft me um, when no one really understood why. Um, no one qu no one knew why. Um, and I think just to have the opportunity to grow and to, you know, grow into a, a man, you know, I, I've uh, grown to a young, the young man that I am today. Um, I couldn't do it in another place. Um, and I couldn't imagine this being another way. You know, so it's a, it's a hell of an opportunity for us all. Keep the main thing the main thing. 
I think the main thing for me has always been since I was since since I was in high school was to be the best player I can be. I love the game. I love the grind. I love the hustle that it takes. Mm. Um, and the hard work continues. The hard work continues. Everything continues. You know, I, I wouldn't be where I am today and have these opportunities to lead this city without this game. So mm. I'm going to put everything into it. As I've always done, and stay on that quest to, to lead and be the best that I can be with it. Well, obviously, I think um, you look at all the great teams around there, and I won't get too much into detail, but you look at all the great teams and great players, um, it takes a village. It takes a village, and um, you know I know that last year, I mean in my first three years, but just just playing around the different guys that I've been able to play around, um, we got something special going on, and um, unselfish once again. He want everybody on the team to get paid. Everybody. You know, we 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 all want to do it for a long time, so that was important to me to. To take that approach with it. Alan, you, you, you've talked in the past about <clears throat> empowering women in sports, and you hired Nicole. Uh, what does it mean for you to get this deal done with her in such an historic fashion? It means the world. It means the world. Um, not only to, um, to set a precedent for what could be done, but um, to acknowledge that women can do it too. Um, and she, 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 she pretty, she pretty lit for doing that. You know what I mean? She, uh, that's the word. The other day, lit. Uh, she, she, she did a great job with it. Um, I'm appreciative of her. Um, and you know, I, I, hopefully, she's setting a precedent and she's empowering people to do it um, in the future. You know, I, I don't, I don't put a sex on that. I don't put a race on that. I don't put anything. If you're a grinder. Let's grind, let's work, you know, let's, let's, let's do it. You had a purpose before anybody had an opinion. Now you're the highest paid player in the league. I mean, how satisfying is that for you? Yeah, I think uh, money is nice, championships are better. That contract, Jalen, I closed the deal with the trade clause in the franchise's history. Why was that important to have in there? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, that's a Nicole question. <laughs> that's a Nicole question. I think the beautiful thing about the process was, um, I think the organization knows how, how I am and my character of it. And, um, you know, I, I did what I love most throughout the whole entire process, and I was work. Um, I, was, I, was, I was working, um, and that's what's most important to me. I had good faith that um, everything would get done in time, and. You know, I never worried about anything. Um, just kind of let them do their do their job. The hours leading into the, <clears throat> the hours leading into the contract being finalized last week. Can you kind of walk us through what were you doing when you got the call? I guess like how aware were you that the deal was supposed to get? Um, yeah, I was uh, I was out west working out. Um, they let me know. I had my FaceTime calls with my uh, my coaches and um, Mr. Lurie Howie. Um, and I went back to work. I mean, I don't, you know, I didn't, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really have anything crazy going on. Uh, just doing what I always do. It's hard to uh, reflect for you, but I imagine when it, when it happened, you heard from a bunch of teammates and, and former teammates. Does that, you know, reach you at all? And, and um, is there anybody you heard from who was surprising, I guess? Yeah, I'm very appreciative. You know, I'm very appreciative um, of the support and, you know, people taking notice. Um, you know, I know you don't, you don't come this far and have these opportunities uh, without work, without investing into yourself, without investing into your future and um, purely putting the work in. So 
I'm thankful for that, but I'm also proud that I was able to um, see a lot of things through. And I know, you know, it's, this is this is just a part of the journey. And that's, that's my whole entire point. One day, God willing, um, I know there are a lot of things that I really don't speak on, but one day I'll talk about it, you know. One day, you know, we can set it up and when it's all said and done, uh, we can talk about a lot of things. Today ain't that day. And I think as for now, it's just, it's just the approach of just embracing what's coming on on the journey and knowing that there is no arrival. There is no point where I will arrive. This is not an arrival point. This is just a stop in the journey. This is just a point in the journey. Um, and the journey continues. And for us, what we want to accomplish as a team, we just want to continue to grow. Um, as an individual, as individuals on the team, we want to continue to grow. So we are stronger together when we fly together. Um, so, uh, you know, I, got, I, I have mixed emotions right now. I have mixed emotions. I am, I am grateful and I am thankful, but no buts, but um, you know, I'm just so hungry. And as I said, the hard work continues and the fire continues to burn um, time and time again. You know, I've, like, in the, like many individuals in this team, saying, I was about to pause it. Um, you, you go through stuff and you experience stuff and that, that teaches you, that teaches you, that builds character in you propels you forward and I think for just as the many trials that I've had to go through um, it's propelled me forward I think it'll do the same for this team alright man there's four minutes left but I ain't gonna watch it right now that's gonna conclude this video man drop a fat like on the video if you haven't already subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as y'all can see my boy Jay Hurts got paid he said he's not worried about the money. He's worried about championships. That's what I'm talking about, bro. I like how he gave all praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, Eagles fans, be tuned, bro. Um, stay tuned, I should say. Championship coming soon, bro. I'll tell you. They say when a quarterback loses, he ain't going to be back. Jalen Hurts is going to be the first quarterback to do that. I promise you, bro. But, uh, that's going to conclude this video, man. Thank you for all the now. Stop support y'all been showing the boy. And uh, I just want to give all praise to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, man. Besides that, I'm going to get up out of here. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. And if you're not having a, bl a blessed day, get positive, my boy. But, uh, yeah, that's going to conclude this video, man. It's been your boy Sammy two times. I'm up out of here. God bless.